Hi, Laptop Tonight is talking about a project which is on the run, is not completed yet. The name is Independent World Television News. It is the idea of building a brand new television network through the subscription of the users on a global scale. You can find information on www.iwtnews.com. It is a project backed from eminent and active journalists and media producers. The idea is to fund, raise a very small subscription of $50 each viewer and to be able to broadcast on the net by 2006 and on terrestrial digital and cable TV by 2007. We've got an unusual terror warning from the feds. We live in perilous times. The consequences of war and social injustice will affect every person on the globe. Good evening, everyone. America is on high alert tonight. There is no justice without freedom, and there can be no human rights without human liberty. If the ideals of justice, freedom, and liberty are to be more than empty rhetoric, people must form an educated opinion about the issues that concern them. People have a right to know. Don't take your cheap little pathetic shot. But serious news and informed debate on which democracy depends are disappearing from television, the medium most people rely on for news and information. Every American will support our military, and if they can't do that, to shut up. We need a television network with the courage and ability to investigate, report, and debate without bending to government or corporate pressure. Independent World Television will be such a network. On every continent, there are people who understand that they're not getting all the news they need to get, that they're not seeing a reflection of themselves and their concerns in the media that they consume. I really think that the problem that we have is as much as we have a choice of media, we don't have enough depth of content. It depends who owns the media, who runs it. And right now we're going through an era of the largest media consolidation in the history. I mean, this huge conglomerates, they represent a minority, an increasing concentrated minority, a very wealthy interest. What's needed is a place that really values the story and not the bottom line. We need something that's completely independent and that's where independent world television could fill a huge void. An organization like Independent World Television has a lot of promise. There is a real hunger out there for journalists to be able to do investigative journalism properly. I think that it would amplify a whole network of fantastic work that's already going on in independent media, in print and radio. We need independent world television. Independent world television will be journalism and debate that doesn't bow to corporate or government pressure. The heart of the network will be IWT News Nightly, an uncompromising source for international news. Other programming will include debate, media criticism, the global economy, southern issues, the arts, political satire, the environment, and activism on both sides of the political fence. IWT News will be seen on digital cable, satellite television, and the web. In the United States, we are collaborating with Link TV and will be available on satellite in over 25 million U.S. homes. Just think, if half a million people around the world contribute $50, independent world television will raise 25 million to fund its first year of broadcasting. The day that seemed possible to me was February the 15th, 2003, when at least 15, 20 million people around the world demonstrated against the war in Iraq. To have that sense of urgency, to have that sense of commitment, to have such a worldwide consciousness was unprecedented. And it occurred to me if we could harness the economic power of the passion those people felt that we can now fund an independent television network. First, we are building an online community, hundreds of thousands of people who will help us create an international fundraising campaign. In 2006, we will launch the campaign for 500,000 people to each give $50 with public rallies and press conferences in major cities across the English-speaking world. It's possible, but it takes your support and participation to make it a reality. Here's what you can do. Visit our website, read our plan, tell us what you think. Tell your friends and neighbors, help us build our internet army. Your financial contribution can make independent world television happen. 
With your support, IWT News can break the monopoly on information. IWT is the one thing you can do right now, immediately, to make your change in the world. This is the sort of thing we can build right now without anyone else's permission from the government or from the business community. It's the power's in our hands. And if everyone wrote a $50 check who cares about this issue, we'd have enough money to make the greatest TV network that's ever been known in the world to change the media. And so that's the power we hold. We have to do it. Tell the world you want to know. Tell the world you have a right to know. Help us build independent world television. IWT News, it's a project which is important for the demonstration that it's possible to move ideas but also money into a vision, I would say. We are talking here about the birth of a network, the, the building of a brand new concept of television, of media broadcasting, which is not relying on the commercial side of the business to be able to survive, but is relying on the capacity of people to recognize that $50 of their income it's, it's well worth an information which is not um, controlled somehow and is uh, very critical and it allows people to have a mental space to reflect on the news they get through the TV screen. That's it for tonight. Goodbye.